Uh, why do I always <laughs> time and day the recording? The Nazis of Antarctica. These are the bad guys here. So these guys are the ones who are pushing for war. These guys are the cabal. There's some really good information in this video. Bush Sr. has Nazi connections. I'll find here. People in the secret space program have Nazi connections. Operation Paperclip. These people are like a cult. Both in Antarctica and in the USA. Argentina included. Look what's happening now <laughs> uh, in Argentinian politics. It's an actual cult. Family ties, secrecy. Germans, Germans in America, Germans in uh, Argentina, Germans in Germany. <laughs> and shame, perhaps, due to the Nazi connection. The Nazis who lost the war, all those Germans, are really angry. They may still feel aggrieved by losing that war losing all those millions of Germans and may hold a grudge against the Russians because, you know, they suffered a lot uh, against the Russians. This may be why this cabal is engineering this Ukraine war. It was a decades-long project. They used the U.S. to do this and now they want the U.S. and Europe to sacrifice their economy and... and the people of Ukraine to fight the Russians. This seems like it's personal, a vengeance. Since they see themselves as this breakaway civilization with this advanced technology, they seem oblivious to any consequences of fighting the Russians. I don't know, that's a good phrase. <laughs> this is just such a big mess. These people are a danger to current human civilization. Now, are there ETs and HI involved on human intelligence? At the very least, we can say the NHI, NHI are interdimensional in nature. This much has been said by whistleblowers, current whistleblowers. There is a lot of testimony from whistleblowers who say they have witnessed different types of beings. So yes, I believe UFOs are flown by ETs, NHIs, and humans. I don't believe it's just humans with advanced technology. So I do believe a lot of the resistance to disclosure is driven by the breakaway civilization wanting to keep its advanced technology to itself and not share uh, it with the public. The secrecy also allows them to do these operations. Perhaps some of the abductions or UFO encounters were psyops done by this breakaway group, counterintelligence against Russians, Chinese. But there is ET and HI tech as well. Even current whistleblowers are saying this. Yes, there is a breakaway group comprised of Nazis and the secret space program. But there are NHIs and ETs as well. Do the reptilians exist? Is the idea of reptilian a psyop done by this cabal? I believe reptilians exist. I believe the Lacerta files, and I think the Bible is telling the truth, even if some facts are distorted and there may be a mishmash of stories. But I believe the general theme. Humans were created by ETs. The reptilians are natives. There is conflict between the two groups in between the Elohim themselves and humans are used as cannon fodder in this alien NHI war. Now let me talk about the Nazis. <clears throat> we are dealing with a cult. 
It may not be many in number, but it definitely has its roots in Germany. Nazis. These are the people doing the dirty work. These people did 9-11. They have family members in the US military and in high positions. These people are doing all this horror on America and the world. And it was these people who did the Washington and it... Oh, it, I'm speculating. And it was these people who did that Washington UFO flyby in 1952 intimidate the U.S. government into signing some kind of treaty. Uh, they may have done a psyop on the U.S. government, perhaps playing the role of ETs. This idea of this whole era being some kind of a psyop was mentioned in an ex post. Without referencing, it was the Nazis doing it. Here is a very good question. Did the Nazis promote the ET hypothesis, the extraterrestrial hypothesis, in the 1940s and 50s at the time in order to do a PSYOP and intimidate the US government into signing a treaty that would give them access to important government positions, resources and labor? Is it possible? These Nazis, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, these Nazis, in my opinion, did Lahaina. These Nazis do the human trafficking using UFOs. These Nazis are in the CIA, NASA, high military positions, in the Navy. It's a secret cult, a cabal, a small knit group. It's families. It's German families before World War II and after. That's what that video talks about. This is the group that's causing all this chaos. Ironically enough, they may feel like they are victims. Here's a, <laughs> this is something I think we should think. They may feel like they are the victims, marginalized because of their history and background, which creates uh, cult-like thinking. I really hate these guys. Nazis being eugenicists. And racists have no qualms picking on minorities. These guys are real scum. But uh, having said that, they, they, they put minorities in, 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 in like a like public facing, but behind all the power is with them. <laughs> this, anyway, I feel like that's how sometimes, you know, I want to, you know, when they talk about the diversity and inclusivity and all that, I feel like sometimes it's just it's all that's like, who have really has the power? Do all these, do minorities have actual power, or are they just like put in, uh, like in like as, as the CEO or some kind of a public facing position? You have a minority person, but the actual power is still with the core group of uh, you know white people and. In this case, Nazis, you know. Yeah, I had to think about that. America got taken over by the Nazis after World War II. They have integrated into your society. Alabama, Secret Space Program, NASA. It's all connected. These people look down on average Americans, both white and black. I hate these guys. These are the bad guys. And when Putin says uh, he's fighting Nazis, he's actually fighting Nazis. He's fighting the same kind of people who lost the war, World War II. And um, that's who Putin says he's fighting. And these, these Nazis don't even care about the U.S. They're probably responsible for opening the borders and letting all these people in because they want to, because they don't have the numbers to do a kinetic war, they're going to do a, a covert war. So by destabilizing society, bringing it up from within is a, is a, is a, is a war, is a strategy of warfare. And they're trying to destroy, I guess this is their revenge. You know, we're going to destroy, it's like a cult, a cult of Nazis, you know, a cult of Nazis. They think they're, they're like special and they're different and they have no problems using the NATO uh, to destroy, to try and destroy uh, Russians, but the Russians are fighting back, and you know, so maybe their plans are not going. <laughs>
maybe the agenda is not going to plan, but um, they have control over the media, over over the politicians, and you know, America is being run by Nazis. Yes, the actual Nazis from the World War II and, and their uh, family members, descendants, I bet they're like a cult. And they probably talk about <laughs> family history and things. So these people are dangerous. They're very, very dangerous because they have a lot of power. They're not, they don't have a lot of numbers, but they have a lot of power because they they are all in inside positions you know so i i think there might be conflict among them i don't know if it's all like a monolith obviously like with everywhere you get a spectrum so they might have conflict amongst themselves about what's going on so maybe even 9-11 was happening one group of the nazis decided to carry out 9-11 and another group who knew what was going on they are the ones who fired that missile into the pentagon because you know there was this video which talking about the office of uh, some naval intelligence was doing the 9-11 and you know and and remember like uh, they wanted to take out bush why did they want to take out bush because bush is a his his dad is a nazi and it's a family thing you know george bush is senior and so they wanted to take Bush out because the cabal, the Nazi cabal, one one part of the cabal was doing it and the other part of the cabal wanted to stop them. Or someone else wanted to stop them. It's it's a family type of thing. I'm not saying we don't have to say they all are trying to, you know, commit heinous things, but it's like these these people are are embedded into American society, and they 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 they're taking the world to the brink of nuclear disaster because some kind of a personal vengeance for them because they lost World War Two, uh, and they just can't like deal with it or something. <laughs> it's, it's a cult. Anyone who's in this group, you're you're in a cult. You need to get yourself out of it. These people scare me. They they are like psychopaths, uh, and and the term uh, Stockholm syndrome comes to mind. <laughs> I think you guys, you're in a cult. You're run by psychopathic, crazy people. This is a very you know, psychopathic uh, Stockholm syndrome, trauma bonded, abusive craziness and i don't want to be i don't want anywhere near these people these were like a crazy cult doing all kinds of horrible shit uh, and they're in such powerful positions and manipulating society you know the fake Na uh, nasa moon landing psyop i think there are ets involved they might have technology to go to the moon and back whatever but um you know the humans might have it but uh that, that nasa landing i don't think that was a real landing i don't i think that was, that was a psyop like i said they might have gone to the moon maybe the ets are the ones controlling it or maybe they have different craft that they use you know using these this this other technology this advanced technology anti electrographics and all that um but yeah these people are dangerous they are very, very dangerous, Psycho psychopathic dangerous.